Oh, yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Fringe. Pride Month is something I really, really try to, you know, turn off the lights, put blankets over the head, don't go outside, don't participate in. The problem with Pride Month is that there are different meanings behind Pride Month. And, and something that I often question when it comes to the Pride community is that when you look at the definition of the LGBT alphabet community, uh, the word B is bisexual. So doesn't that mean they acknowledge there's only two genders, yet you have this this entire uh, weird alphabet pronoun thing going on? I, I don't get it. But, but the problem that we've seen when it comes to pride parades, when it comes to uh, the political push over Pride Month, originally Pride was established in order to preach equality for those who had chosen to live within the gay community. And they've been given equality. I feel that uh, they're allowed to get married, they're allowed to get divorced, they're allowed to buy homes together, they're allowed to adopt children. Uh, they're, they're given the rights of basically every other citizen on the planet. Now, if you're talking about discrimination, of course there are going to be those who discriminate against different. We're, we're going to see that over racism, we're going to see that over uh, sexual preferences, but the problem when it comes to Pride Month is that it's essentially now politicized and it's a political machine in order to cram policy and woke ideologies down our throats, as well as allow essentially uh, PDF files to explode in great size and take to the streets and um, walk around unclothed in front of children to expose themselves, to be told that the rules don't apply for a month because, well, we got to stay PC. We don't want to uh, come across as bigots or hatred or, or however they try to spew it. The problem is, is that the hatred comes from one side. It comes from the radicalism side in support of those communities. And boy, we have an epic troll today here on the channel. Um, I wanted to showcase this because we're always talking about politics. But here's, here's a funny troll that's gone on that can give you a little bit of a smile during this time of the year. An Idaho bar celebrating hetero awesomeness month in June creates massive stir. Now this takes place in the small town of Eagle, Idaho. I know I've got to go. I've got to go into Idaho this summer with my family. If I can, I'm going to stop by this bar and uh, pick up some souvenirs. Of course, I appreciate the grift. Um, if if Pride is allowed to celebrate their sexuality, you're essentially acknowledging their sexual preferences, and that's the problem. It's not about equality. It's Look what I do behind the scenes. Look what I do in my private life. I don't see anybody holding parades for straight people. I don't see anybody celebrating straight people. I've produced five children uh, throughout my life <laughs> in this world, and uh, nobody gives me an award or acknowledgement every every year. Now people say, well, you've got Father's Day. Nah, it's not the same. Not the same. It's not an entire month or season or or special interest. And that's the biggest problem when it comes to pride is that you see they don't want equality. They want exemptions. They want extra. They want attention. Saloon in Idaho is drawing both jeers and cheers from its cheeky counter programming to pride month, declaring June as hetero awareness month, billing it as a celebration of all straight things. Come join us in the month to celebrate heteros for without them, none of us would be here. I mean, that's a Pretty honest statement. Old State Saloon is in the city of Eagle, wrote a Facebook post announcing a month of festivities and drink specials. Every Monday in June will be Hetero Male Monday with a free draft beer given to any hetero man dressed uh, like a hetero male, uh, the bar said. Now, of course, they always have that, that old 80s song uh, about being hetero. I think I think it's a funny a funny take on things, a funny spin to try and drum up business. The bar of even uh, pull out a call seeking a professional judge qualified to determine if men's chosen clothing is officially hetero, offering fifteen dollars per hour plus free beer as compensation for anybody who thinks they have what it takes to determine straight threads. I think this is great. I I love this. Uh, the quartering did a piece on this, and I I just had to cover it because I thought it was so. So funny and, and so great to finally see some pushback, to see people saying, hey, if you guys can have that, we can have this. I don't see the problem. If we're supposed to accept them, why can't they accept what we want? Right? That's the hypocrisy. Wednesdays will be for couples, where each hetero couple will receive 15% off their bill. Thursdays are ladies' nights, hetero ladies to be precise, uh, with her hetero happy hour 
promising happy hour prices for straight women all day long. The Facebook post drew nearly 2,000 comments within 72 hours with a well-balanced mix of people applauding the subversive mock celebration and those who took offense. Of course, there's those who take offense. This is horribly disappointing. I can handle differing political views. I cannot handle bigotry and hate towards marginalized communities. Well, what, what are you doing here? You're, you're projecting bigotry and hate towards straight people, right? <laughs> like you're, you're, you're essentially being a hypocrite. You're doing what you're complaining about. Another person weighed in and imagine being this insecure. Well, you're insecure because you're making a very large post about it. It's triggering you. We hear lots of people are upset about hetero awesomeness month. Please know one. We love our LGBTQ plus patrons. Two, we will not be changing our mind and give in to the group of those who are responding with vitriol. Three, all are welcome to come celebrate heterosexuality with us in this June. I mean, <laughs> that's, they're not apologizing. It's fantastic. Featuring hetero Mondays, one free pint for any hetero male all day. Uh, Duo deal Wednesday, 15% off. We see... Uh, her hetero happy hour, happy hour prices, uh, for hetero females on Thursdays all day, uh, hetero awesomeness t-shirts coming soon. Again, I want to reach out to them, see maybe if I can buy one and have it shipped. I think it's great. Uh, supporter commented, this is absolutely fantastic. Thank you for taking a stand for the rest of the community who's been too scared for us to do the right thing. The person wrote, and essentially that's what that makes this worth covering is that a lot of people are thinking it, nobody wants to say it, and it's great to see somebody, even if it's in America, doing it finally and saying enough is enough. We've seen Premier Danielle Smith being told she's banned from this year's Pride Festival merely because she said children shouldn't be taking gender-altering medications until they're adults. Another commenter said, I love that you have the cojones to do uh, a hetero male Monday party. Some people are used uh, the comments thread to troll the more easily offended protesters. Heteros maintaining the group of species for 40,000 years. You're welcome. One person said in a follow-up post addressing uh, the brouhaha, Old State Saloon acknowledged that lots of people are upset about hetero awesomeness month and sought to clarify a few things. Again, why are you upset? If you, if you preach equality, if you preach for the rights of people, this is, again, it's not just an epic troll against the woke it's calling out their hypocrisy it's saying if you if you want equal rights why won't you give us ours why won't you give us our ability to enjoy what we want to enjoy and you guys are free to enjoy what you want to enjoy but that's why i say that pride isn't about that pride is about you must bow down you must be shameful you must adopt everything so again, the same thing I read earlier about loving their patrons, everything that was that was written out. Uh, we're choosing uh, to celebrate heteros. We should be able to do that without so many people judging so nastily towards us, lying about us, canceling us, attacking our business. We're going to get into that and or trying to get us to make something uh, about themselves. If you want us to change who we are celebrating, get over it. It's not happening. Hooray for heteros. Pride Month is an annual celebration throughout the month of June intended to honor the lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and queer communities. Uh, it began in 1970 with Pride Marchers in New York. Again, we've talked about the history of it last year. Uh, Los Angeles and Chicago to mark the one-year anniversary of the riots that sparked the NYPD raiding the Stonewall Inn, a gay club in uh, Greenwich Village. Again, I understood and, and commemorated Pride as, look, they want rights, they want acceptance, they want to just be seen as everybody else. And for the most part, especially in Canada, I think people are pretty accepting of anybody in that community to say, you know, do what floats your boat. You, you do you. But we don't need to be talking about what our preferences are all the time or what we do in our private lives. I mean, I'm a married man. I, 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 I get things regularly, but I don't walk around telling everybody to acknowledge it or give me an award for that. Of course, the company has also had a give, send, go set up for them because there's been rumor going around now that the 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 flack or the, the backlash has become so large that suppliers are now refusing to bring product to the bar. Uh, they're doing everything they can. There's review bombing going on. We see this all the time, trying to shut down the business. Again, um, they've raised $13,000 on their give, send, go. Since we announced Hetero Awesome Month, we've had significant backlash. Theft of our property, 
vendors refusing to fulfill our orders for ingredients, wedding catering cancellations, libel, slander, even the owner being falsely accused of being uh, a PDF file. To the credit of the community, this is rational and reasonable. Uh, we've also received so much support from like-minded uh, people who want to celebrate Hetero Awesomeness Month with us and get the concept of it as being about freedom and being true to your personal values. I don't see a problem with that. Many have asked about sending financial support, so this platform is going to serve as a conduit for people who want to contribute to this vision and fund the current uh, construction of a physical location specifically for traditional and faith-based events. Preserving Idaho's amazing and conservative culture. Uh, Brave owner Mark Fitzpatrick said, if the world wants to support Hetero Awesome this month by crowdfunding the larger Hetero HQ, let's do it. He and his team are passionate about building a community event center where conservatism can be appreciated including Hetero Awesomeness Month style events every year. He currently owns the land and all proceeds will benefit the next phases to build out, which include parking lot and larger indoor space. So again, they're not looking for money to pay their bills. They're looking for money to expand. They're looking for money to uphold their values. Totally on board with that. Again, I would say if you want to support them, again, I'm going to reach out to them, see if there's any way that uh, maybe I can get a link to some of their merch, uh, see if we can support that way to maybe have merch shipped to people. I think it would be great for them. I think it would be a great way to get people on board. Um, if you look at the reviews here on their Facebook, it says, love the food and everything they say, the quiet part out loud. Great food, perfect for parties. Um, friendly bartenders again, but then you see got really sick after eating one of the salad boats. They wouldn't refund it. They kept saying straight pride and giving the white power salute. This is now a lot of these accounts. There's people outing these accounts saying they live in other States. They don't live here. They've looked up people's Facebooks. That's the problem is that you can tell where people are from. If they leave that information, of course, in the comments, this didn't happen the most. Um, people, people arguing back and forth again. Uh, I don't give my business to bigots and phobes. They partnered with Disciples Coffee, another bigoted enterprise, again, trying to get those businesses destroyed. Um, very bigoted establishment. Owner threatens those with criticisms. Avoid it like you would dysentery. Uh, they're the same overall experience in the end. Not child-friendly. Intolerant owners, they spew hatred and bigotry. Again, people saying uh, that doesn't happen. Um bigotry and hate is rampant here not a single good thing to say horrible human ethics and behavior again people posting the usual uh quotes from their owners saying that's not the truth fake account uh i'm as real as your daddy it says you guys rock keep up the great work again there is comments of support out there honestly not a safe environment it isn't accepting to all customers and the owner makes me feel super uncomfortable not child friendly rude bartenders i wouldn't think a bar is supposed to be child friendly but in the end again these are all targeted negative reviews to try and destroy this business to try and shut them down because that again is the is the hypocrisy of pride and one thing again in this very long video i wanted to showcase that they preach that we just want equality we just want acceptance but you won't give us the same. So what is that really saying here? That's where we have to draw our line in the sand and say, we'll just agree to disagree. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you, do you applaud this bar? Do you think it's great? Do you think we should start doing things like this in Canada? I certainly do. I think it would be great. Uh, give me your comments down below. If it's your first time here, I hope this video has earned your subscription. I hope uh, you're clicking the bell for notifications to join us live here every Friday on the channel for Friday Night Fringe, where we do our uh, usual back and forth of what's happened in the week of politics and things like this, as well as what's coming ahead that we're aware of. We also have a little bit of back and forth with the community. It's always great to hear what you guys have to say outside of making these videos. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in that chat when we go live every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one.